hello and welcome to my youtube channel i got a request to draft a two side pleated dress so there are lots a lot of design on a two side pleated dress as you can see but i will show you how i will draft this two side pleated dress if i were to make one for myself so i'm going with the bustier one the green the, the pink green one so i will i'm show you how this is an idea right this is just an idea so let's get right into the illustration for this illustration i use an ava paper which is equivalent to my pattern paper then scissors eraser ruler um curve ruler whichever you have and a pencil these are all the materials you, you're gonna need to draft a pattern so i'm using them for my illustration first you need your foundation pattern i've always said that foundation pattern is very necessary so you need your foundation pattern traced out on your pattern paper i have um a video on that so i have a video on how to draft a fitted dress block pattern you should just scroll down um through my videos and you see the video there so you need that because with your foundation pattern you can tweak it to create whatever design you like before tweaking my foundation block pattern i labeled the lines so you need your hip line you need your waistline you need your on the bus line and you need your armhole depth line first i marked my bus distance on all the line then connect that all the way down to my desired dress length my bust distance is usually four inches or 4.5 inches depending on my size depending on my measurement so next i marked my dot also my dot depends on my size at the moment of drafting usually it's um half an inch on both sides half an inch here half an inch on the other side then i go down four inches or five inches depending on how protruding my tummy is if my tummy is flat i just go down four inches then i connect the dot all the way to my on the bust then i went up two inches 2.5 inches this all depends on the exposure if you want you you want like a peak of your breast you could just make it two inches or 1.5 inches if you want um if you don't want too much exposure just leave it at three inches or 2.5 inches so it depends so next you mark the dot the dot could be one inch or half an inch then you connect that to the under bust then you create a curve be seamless so then at the side I went down half an inch at the side seam I went down half an inch and connect one side of the dot that's this one side of that down to the side seam and that is it I have a lot of feature on how to create a bustier so i'm just gonna put i have i have a video similar to this one so i'm just gonna put the picture on the screen for you to scroll down my videos pick out the video and watch to refresh your memory so next it's time to create the side pleats the side pleat is actually the showstopper for this dress and it's easy to create so first i would decide where i want the pleats to be placed so for for the for the pleats i go down from the waist three inches or four inches from the waist down then i notice that there is a kind of a slant line or on the center front so what i'll do is i would leave two to three inches space from the center front that is the length of the dress from the length of the dress i leave three inches space and draw a slant line all the way to the pleat um stats right i hope you understand this before creating my curve so before creating the curve i would also leave 
from the side seam two to three inches inside then create the cuff from there connect the slant line all the way to the pleat line so watch the video and see what i did i created a slant line then i created a curve to curve the pleat so i am from the waist down three inches or four inches then from the side seam i go in three inches then i create a slant so that is it it's just easy then the pleats i create slash lines slash lines to create the pleats right or the gathering the pleat either pleat or gathering whatever you prefer it's time to draft the back of the two side pleated dress the back is almost a replica of the front dress just slight difference then first you have to create a zipper allowance for the back so go watch the video on how to create a bustier back it's just the same first i marked my bust distance and i drew a line all the way down to the dress length then i marked my dots on the waist which could be half inch or one inch on both sides then um, connect it down four inch four inches or five inches then from the waist from the waist down to the hip connect four inches then from the waist straight down to the armhole depth line that is the dots for the back next i mark the same pleated line on the back from the the, the front the pleated line on the front i marked same on the back so you're just replicating exact thing you did for the front to get the pleats um the pleat position and the pleats um line so the same thing and just create the curve so it's just replicating the same for the front to the back so once i'm done with that i went to the the, the armhole depth to create my slant just a slight slant so first i marked at the side the side seam i marked half an inch down same i did the same thing i did for the front then at the center back i went down from the armhole depth one inch then connect that just create a slight a slightly slant line and basically that is it next you cut out your pattern pieces number them so you don't forget which is which when you're trying to align them or cut your fabric so you number them then for the slash line i um, did a little bit of adjustment to create a lesser pleat you can create so many lines if you want so many pleats um gathering or lesser one depending but i ensure you number them so you know how to arrange them when you are trying to spread them out to create a new pattern for it so that is all for this dress it's just easy so stay and watch and see i just did the whole voice over so i can get it over with so just stay and watch and see and you create your side to side pleated dress.